there i am here today to show you a welcome sign that i made for my office door to begin i'm putting on the first coat of paint i don't show putting on all the layers but i put on three layers in total sit back and let me get this finished and we'll move on to the vinyl Okay, here you can see I've got three sheets of tech wrap vinyl. I am going to start by removing the protective film off of the top and then I'm going to open up the two rolls that I have to the left. I wasn't sure if the rolls had the protective layer, so I was just looking here and I didn't see it. So I put those off to the side and now I'm going to open up the tech wrap transfer tape. What I'm doing now is cutting down each piece of vinyl. I know some people will just put the entire 12 by 12 sheet on their mat and run it through the cutting machine. I like to cut things down to size personally and then I move on to putting everything through my Cricut to cut it all out. So stand by for a second while I finish cutting these all out. Another thing that I like to do is cut my transfer tape in advance too. I like it to be about the size of the biggest piece of vinyl that I'll be using. Here I have all of my tools ready to go. These are my tech wrap tweezers that have a very sharp point. They can be used for weeding and they are phenomenal. And then I have the tech wrap scraper that helps me get my vinyl onto my transfer tape and off my transfer tape. To begin, I'm starting with my little brown piece of vinyl and I'm just going to make sure that it is securely adhered to my tech wrap cutting mat. Now I'm going to put the mat into my Cricut machine and hit the blinking two-way arrow so the mat will load. Then I hit the blinking C to start the cut and the machine will do a quick calibration and then it will start cutting out my image. Now that the machine is done cutting, I will remove the mat from the machine and I'm just going to hurry up and weed this little square of vinyl while I have it on the mat. It will keep my sheet of vinyl in place and make that super easy to do. And now I'm ready to peel that off and put my next color on. I really liked weeding the brown vinyl while it was still on the mat, so I'm going to continue to do that. When it's time to pull the vinyl off the mat, I always flip the mat over and essentially peel the mat away from the vinyl backing. What this does is helps the vinyl not to curl and potentially distort or ruin the vinyl. This piece is the most complex layer that I have to work with, so all I'm going to do is remove the outside layer and then I'll come back and weed the inside. You can see here I'm having a little bit of a hard time getting the vinyl to peel off easily. 
This is not actually a tech wrap issue. This is an issue that I've been having with my Cricut machine. So you will see as I continue to go through this project that I have a few times where I have some problems, but I just want to assure you that tech wrap vinyl is incredibly easy to use and this was not a tech wrap issue. Okay, I'm all done cutting, so I'm gonna push my machine off to the side, and then I am going to weed this last piece while on the mat, and then move back over to that tan piece of vinyl that has the little intricate pieces. Because of the issues I have been having with my machine cutting vinyl exactly how I need it to, these sharp-ended tweezers were so amazing as I weeded all of these pieces because that sharpness kind of helped push through any spots where I was having a hard time getting the vinyl up because it wasn't cut super great all the way through. When I'm done, I always put the protector over the end of those tweezers because they're so sharp. I don't want to accidentally get hurt or risk breaking the sharp tip off those. Now I'm using my Tech Wrap pin weeder. It's got a super, super sharp, fine tip that is like a pin and it's in a pen and helps with pulling up small pieces or big pieces. It's super great to get weeding done really fast and it's easy to hold because it's like holding a pen. <laughs> Okay, now that that's done, I am going to start with the very bottom layer of my welcome sign and I am going to burnish it with the scraper and really get it adhered well to the transfer tape. And then flip that transfer tape over and get it perfectly lined up on my welcome sign and then use the scraper again to really make sure that that vinyl is adhering well to my wood. And right here I'm having a little bit of issue, so I'm just gonna scrape it a little bit more and make sure that it's really pushed down good. And now I'm going to continue on and put all the rest of the pieces onto the welcome sign. One thing that you will see me do with the vinyl and the transfer tape is I will put the transfer tape over top of the vinyl and I'll give it a little scrape and then I flip it over and give it another scrape. The reason why I flip it over is because you want to look at it as actually pushing the vinyl off of the backing and onto the transfer tape and that's what you do when you're scraping the back of it. Okay, that's it. Simple as can be. Thank you for joining me today. See you in my next video. Thanks for watching this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe so you don't miss the next one. If you have questions, please be sure to comment. See you next time.